Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this fifth chapter, we'll continue the surface creation for the car Volkswagen Beetles. So select the two curves and just rebuild as we have did already did in the last chapters. And we'll also use loft. So that is a, a process which we, are, which we are actually using. So again, uh, select the curves and make sure the number of vertexes are same. Directions of the curves should be in the same direction and we'll use loft. <coughs> Fine. Again, uh, we'll just rebuild uh, curves so that the number of uh, spans or number of the uh, curves should be on the same Okay, now just uh, select the surfaces that we have already created and put it uh, in a single layer. <coughs> Fine. Now make that layer as a template and so that we can see that also, but not accidentally select. Now what we'll uh, create is just uh, put two curve points and cut it from there so that uh, we can create the uh, surface over uh, on this area so select and check that uh, number of spans and the directions also so we build curve and we just make sure that the number of spans is same and also make sure uh, just in, in the boundary so before that we have to check whether it's uh, connected or not or snapped edges Again, I just cut that curve from two points and have to make sure that whether these two endpoints are you know snapped or not. This creates some curve snapping. Just change the view a bit. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, fine. So, <coughs> also the other points. Uh, just make sure whether uh, these are on the snapped or not, because that's very important for creating the boundary. Okay. Now select the edges and reveal curve. The eight. And we'll do the same for the others for four. Now, so we'll again use boundary to create the surface. You can see this uh, some uh, mismatches is happening on the uh, shaded view, but uh, that will uh, taken care of uh, on the later part. We'll move on to the back portion and we will do the same right click on the curve and where and create a curve point and cut that curve on that at that point same way and then create another curve point over here over here and over here fine if you don't know the uh, you have to you have to be very sure that whether the curves the end points are snapped with the curves to create the boundary if you don't uh, know the uses of the uh, these uh, curve editing tools like uh, cut tool cut the curves and rebuild curves you have to go through with that because that is not uh, the things which are um, or the rebuild option that is not our you know uh, <coughs> main concern over here so I'll just keep that thing in details. Fine, select this. I have to be sure the parallel curves are you no know, the same number of spans. Good. You can adjust those uh, you know curve points so that the sh the surface is also always follows because the dependency curves is still there. 
fine. Just a little bit of adjustment from the perspective view. Cool. And we also create the last part. Just like this. Select the parallel curves and make sure I'll just rebuild that with three curves. That's eight. Because of my area, and just make sure the parallel curves are uh, starting points are same. Otherwise, you have to change the curve direction also. So it's boundary. So three span you can see, and I also added with the <coughs> surface. Uh, sorry, the layer. Fine. Now we'll uh, create on the door parts. This is four. So we need to uh, cut over here. So just select a point and cut, and also over here, and for the roof post, door post, fine from the fenders and the base. So just make sure the curve points are on the same directions, the starting points, because that is a very important. So reverse according to your requirement to reverse the direction of the curves and also by rebuilding the number of spans a rebuild curve option six I just use six over here fine so make sure it's already snapped with the Last stage of the this way, fine. Also, it's connected, also, snap the curve. Fine. Now, select four and say boundary, and you will get the surface. The same thing will uh, over here also, just rebuild these curves and also. We build side ones and check the direction of the curves. Make sure the, everything is the same direction of the two parallel curves. Fine. Now, as my surface has been created, I have to make sure that well, the number of spans are same for the all the surfaces. So. Just make sure <coughs> select the surface one any 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 surface make it uh, selectable first find then edit knobs rebuild surface four and eight so be eight definitely so that uh, the number of surface span will be same fine. Now add an isopom over here so that uh, the number of surface remains same. Add isopom. Oops, sorry. Isopom and insert edges. Insert I sorry insert isopom option. Fine. Now select those. Uh, Surfaces that we have created. Select all the surfaces. This is very uh, interesting part. So go to the modify, and we'll transfer these knob surfaces to the uh, polygonal one. So I'll choose quads and general, and per span of isoparms is one, two. 1 is to 1 and I'll just tessellate that and the moment you tessellate that if you hide the nerve surfaces you'll see the exactly same amount of polygon with the same surface details in inside your people so that is the most important thing so hope you enjoy this and put it in a layer and uh, which make it as a poly so, uh, so next chapter we'll move on to this uh, polygonal model